Hello everyone and welcome to Boundless Dentistry. In this video we'll talk briefly about maxillary artery and then we'll move on to talk about blood supply of maxillary and mandibular teeth which is important when we are talking about dentistry because we have to know which teeth are supplied by which artery. So let's get started. Firstly, we'll talk about maxillary artery because it's the maxillary artery that supplies the maxillary and mandibular teeth. So where does the maxillary artery arise from? The maxillary artery arises from the external carotid artery. External carotid artery is given off by the common carotid artery into external and internal carotid artery. Now you can see at the level of this mandibular condyle, the neck, the maxillary artery is given off from the external carotid artery. Maxillary artery is, is one of the two terminal branches of external carotid artery. So from external carotid artery, maxillary artery is given off at the level of the neck of uh, mandibular condyle and this maxillary artery is embedded in the parotid gland and from the maxillary artery then supplies the mandibular and maxillary teeth and surrounding soft and hard tissues. Now talking about branches of maxillary artery, the maxillary artery is divided into three parts by the lateral pterygoid muscle. The first part which is the mandibular part, the second part is known as the pterygoid part and the third part which is known as pterygopalatine part. So in total maxillary artery has 15 branches and these are its three parts which are divided by the lateral pterygoid muscle. Okay, so now talking about the first part, you can use this mnemonic D A M R A Damia. You can use this mnemonic to remember the names of the branches that are present in the first part of maxillary artery. So D stands for deep auricular artery, which supplies the external acoustic meatus, the opening of your ear. For, for A is the anterior tympanic artery which supplies the tympanic membrane which is present inside the ear. Third from M is the middle meningeal artery which supplies the dura mater, one of the layers, protective layers of your meninges and skull bones. I represents the inferior alveolar artery. Now for us in dentistry this is important because it supplies all of the mandibular teeth. And finally, we have the accessory middle meningeal artery, which is not as important, but it, it does supply the durometer. So you can use this mnemonic D A M I to remember the first part branches of the maxillary artery. Next, talking about the second part. Now you can remember the second part branches of maxillary artery by remembering that the second part supplies the muscle of mastication. So first is the anterior and posterior deep temporal arteries which supplies the temporalis muscle which is one of the muscles of mastication. Second is the pterygoid artery which supplies the lateral and medial pterygoid muscles also a muscle of mastication. Then third we have mesitric artery which supplies the masseter muscle and lastly we have the buccinator artery which supplies the buccinator muscle. So these are all the muscles of mastication which are present attached to the mandible which helps in mastication. So this was the second part of maxillary artery and these are the branches which are present in the second part. Thirdly talking about the third part now you can remember the third part branches of maxillary artery by remembering five P's and there is one I in them. The so first P is the posterior superior alveolar artery this is important because it supplies the maxillary teeth. Second P is the pterygoid canal artery which supplies the upper pharynx, your upper part of your throat and tympanic cavities, the tympanic membrane in your ear. Third is the palatine which is the descending palatine artery which further divides into greater and lesser palatine artery and it supplies the hard and soft palate and surrounding gingiva. Fourth P is the sinopalatine artery which supplies your nasal cavity. The last P is the pharyngeal artery which supplies the pharynx and lastly and also importantly is the infraorbital artery which further divides into anterior and middle superior alveolar artery and this importantly supplies the maxillary teeth. So this is the last part of the maxillary artery which is the third part and then you can remember this 
by remembering this mnemonic 5 P's and 1 I. So these were the three parts of the maxillary artery, the first part, second part and third part which are divided by the lateral pterygoid muscle. Now talking about our, uh, the branches of maxillary artery which are important to us in our dentistry field, firstly is the inferior alveolar artery. The inferior alveolar artery enters the mandible by this IA canal which is the inferior alveolar canal. It supplies the mandibular teeth. Now as this inferior alveolar artery is moving inside this mandibular canal, at this region of this premolar, first premolar, it divides into two further arteries. First is the incisive artery and the second is mental. Incisive artery supplies the incisor area and the mental supplies the mental area around the chin. So inferior alveolar artery enters the mandibular canal, it supplies the molars, premolars. At the region of first premolar, it divides into incisive artery supplying the incisors and then it also divides into mental artery which supplies the mental area. So this, this is all about the mandibular teeth blood supply. Now lastly talking about the supply of maxillary teeth, first is the anterior superior alveolar artery which arises from the infraorbital artery it supplies your upper incisor and canines all of that region is supplied by anterior superior alveolar artery next is the middle superior alveolar artery now note this artery is sometimes present and sometimes it's not present so there is variation when talking about middle superior alveolar artery it supplies the maxillary sinus and canine now maxillary sinus has an importance when particularly you are extracting the molar teeth but we'll talk about maxillary sinus and its related complications in our further videos so don't worry about that and lastly is the posterior superior alveolar artery now posterior superior alveolar artery supplies your premolars and molars all of that re region is supplied by your posterior superior alveolar artery so this is all about the blood supply of maxillary teeth so in this video we talked about mandibular and maxillary uh, teeth blood supply we also talked about which artery supplies your uh, soft palate and hard palate and surrounding soft tissue so i hope this video was useful for you so if you like this video please like share and subscribe and until we meet next time so take care and thank you for watching this video